Once again, you're watching a video that was fed uh, from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan on Sunday as the Soyuz TMA-12 uh, made it to its booster, uh, neared uh, the launch pad on the railway system uh, that winds its way through the uh, barren Cosmodrome. The uh, rail car reaches uh, the launch pad and then a series of hydraulic lifting devices uh, literally uh, raises uh, the the Soyuz rocket, which stands 160 feet tall, weighs 680,000 pounds to its vertical position uh, on the launch pad. Once it is hard down on the launch pad, uh, the rotating uh, launch table, as it is called, basically uh, the circular uh, device upon which uh, the rocket uh, stands, is rotated into the proper launch azimuth so that uh, the Soyuz which does not have the benefit of gimbling engines like a space shuttle does, uh, can be launched uh, directly into the proper inclination to begin its chase to the International Space Station. That launch is scheduled just 40 minutes from now at 6.16 a.m. Central Time, everything uh, proceeding on schedule down at the Baikonur Cosmodrome for what is typically an on-time launch uh, for the Russian space program. Those large uh, swing arms that you see uh, are slowly raised uh, to form a clamshell protective uh, cocoon around the Soyuz rocket, also providing uh, launch pad technicians uh, the ability uh, to clamber onto the launch pad to begin the connection of electrical um, data and telemetry cables uh, to the rocket itself in the final 48 hours of launch preparations. That uh, launch tower uh, that you see uh, encapsulating the rocket on Sunday following its rollout and uh, vertical raising uh, to its launch position uh, was scheduled to have uh, moved away from the Soyuz rocket just a few minutes ago per the countdown timeline. Uh, we will be receiving uh, live video from uh, the launch pad down on the Baikonur Cosmodrome a short time from now. Everything uh, proceeding on track as uh, Sergei Volkov, Oleg Kononenko, and So Yun Yi sit uh, quietly on board the Soyuz TMA 12 capsule awaiting for liftoff less than 39 minutes from now.
Back inside uh, the Soyuz TMA-12 as uh, the commander, Sergei Volkov, uh, on the left side of your screen and uh, Oleg Kononenko on the right side of your screen, seated to Volkov's left, uh, continue uh, to run through their checklists as uh, the countdown has uh, now reached the T-minus 36-minute mark. Uh, technicians are uh, taking a look at uh, a possible problem uh, with one of the zippers on Volkov's suit that apparently uh, broke, uh, the pressure in his suit uh, temporarily dropped, then uh, was restored to normal. Uh, so they're uh, just uh, in the process now of verifying uh, that uh, we have good suit pressure integrity uh, for Volkov's suit as the countdown proceeds toward launch at 6.16 a.m. Central Time this morning. Once uh, the launch occurs, Volkov, uh, who is serving today as Soyuz commander under the uh, call sign of Iradnus, uh, which is a, a constellation uh, that uh, represents a very long winding river starting at the left uh, foot of uh, the Orion constellation to the north, sweeping south of uh, Taurus uh, to the west edge of Cetus uh, in the sky. Uh, Volkov uh, and Kononenko is the onboard Soyuz flight engineer will oversee several orbital correction maneuvers using thrusters on the spacecraft to adjust the altitude and trajectory relative to the International Space Station as it uh, begins uh, the chase to rendezvous and dock to the complex on Thursday morning. Technicians uh, down at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan uh, continue uh, to provide status reports. Those status reports on uh, vehicle processing and uh, the most critical phases of the countdown are ongoing as we approach the T-minus 33-minute mark into the countdown. <laughs> 